this is going to be part one of a series of videos explaining in depth how to utilize a natural spring on your property as your main water system for your house. In this video, I'm going to go over a little bit about how to develop a spring and mostly how to build a sediment filter for catching the larger sediment before the water is brought to your main holding tank. This is one of the springs on our property. It flows all year round, just gushing out. Tons of water flow, more than we could even use, which is one of the main reasons that we bought this land. Look at that, awesome. All right, if you're trying to do something simple like this on your property, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just get yourself a piece of something to carry the water from above grade down to your tub. Let your tub fill up. And I weighted down this water line here with some rocks and angled the lead line down a couple inches underneath the surface of the water so it just gets the clean water and not the sediment at the bottom. And there's just a simple little filter right there that keeps leaves and rocks and salamanders from getting up in the water line. That's one way to do it. And this water line is running gravity fed downhill. If you've got a spring that's below where you need to get the water, you can do a hydraulic ram pump, which I might do a video on how to build here um, soon. Or you could pump it up if you had electricity. Uh, better than carrying it with buckets. All right, so we were just up there at the sediment filter I was showing y'all. That water line comes down here and to our temporary holding tank we've got three of these 50 something gallon drums and you can see how much sediment still makes it down here even after that look at that so we're gonna add another sediment filter keep that one rocking and just attach a PVC pipe to it I'm gonna show you how to build it let's do it one five gallon bucket with a lid. In this case, I'm using one inch PVC. So I've got a couple lengths of one inch PVC here. You're gonna need, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these um, tapered, uh, what are they called? You know, one inch here with the smooth side and then threaded here. That way they could fit into these ports seven of those you're going to need three of these um, in this case they're three quarter inch ports they've got a little gasket right here so they seal up and those are going to get put in the bucket so water in water out three of those you're going to need well this is a little extra but so I can clean the sediment filter out I've got a one inch union here um, so I can just unthread that and pull the line out and tip my bucket over two 90 degree one inch elbows you're going to need and this is for the little filter part you're going to need some sort of filter whether you use screen over the top of the PVC or something like this um, that's going to sit in the top of this one inch threaded on both sides um, uh, union of some kind I don't know what you call that one it's just sort of a female and female and then the bottom side is going to be this one inch and let's see this is a well I think these go down to this is a three quarter that might be a one inch all right so here's how you put it all together first thing you got to do is put some holes in your bucket for water in water out I'm going to be using these three quarter inch ports with the rubber gasket and to do that I'm using I believe a 1 and 5 eighths hole saw. Alright so we got our holes cut. One of them is going to go in the top. That's going to be water in from the spring. Then you're going to need two more. One's going to be overflow back to the creek and the other one is going to be the water line to the main tank. Now I know I want the water coming in this way and I know I want 
the overflow going towards the creek and the main line going towards where my tank's going to be. Pretty simple. Next step is take your three quarter plug port things and uh, put them on. Next step is take some of these little one inch connectors and hook them up to either side of these ports. Alright, here's what we got so far. We got our overflow and our main line and our water in. Next thing we got to do is cut a couple really short pieces of that one inch PVC to connect these 90 degree elbows. Alright, here's all you need, just a little section of that one inch PVC so it can fit in between these two and when they're glued and pushed together they basically uh, hide that little piece so that inside the bucket where your two ports come out they don't get in the way of each other. Alright, I'm going to take apart everything I just did, put some Teflon tape on here, some glue here, seal these all up, that way I can get them in there, get them real tight, then I could drop the other piece of PVC down in, because you won't be able to tighten these while they're all glued together inside. And all glued up, you can see no PVC showing there in the middle because depending on where you put these holes, they're going to be really close. But anywhere you put them, it'll work out if you cut the PVC in between here really short. Alright, so for the overflow, I'm going to measure from where the pipe's going to sit in this elbow to just below the rim of the bucket. Looks like about, I don't know if you can see on camera, maybe 11 inches. Let's try that. And I want it as high as possible to the rim of the bucket, you can see it's just below the rim there, so that any water that this can't handle will go back to the creek. Now the way I'm going to measure for this is, I know that this little apparatus I put together with my little filter bit and my connector and my one inch connector is six inches long. So I, this one ended up being 11 inches. If this one's six inches, I can do 11 minus six, but I want it to sit below this one. So I'm gonna take off two extra inches, which is how long this filter bit is off of that. And then that'll be my measurement. That way this whole thing can get submerged in water before the overflow takes any away. Make sense? All right, so for the filter, it winded up being a three inch piece of PVC. That will go to the connector, the other connector, and then the filter. I'm going to tape it up, put it together, see how it fits. Here it is, pretty much complete. You can see there's an overflow and the filter ended up right where I want it, just a couple inches below that. That way the cleanest water is going to be right in the middle. Anything that's floating will be on top and get sucked into the overflow, hopefully. Um, and this will take the cleanest water and send it on. I'm actually going to put a union in right here and probably on both of these. That way, when I'm using it, I can just come up, unscrew those, grab the bucket, tip it out, and then screw it back in. Alright, so just for the sake of making this a somewhat complete video, I've temporarily hooked this up to my hose running from the spring. You can see the bucket's filling up. It's just about to get to the filter. And there it goes. That'll be the line that comes to your main tank, which in our case will be a 550 gallon above ground holding tank. All the sediment will sit at the bottom and if this bucket is getting more water coming in than it can let out, it'll fill up here, go into the overflow and there'll be a line from there. Let's see, on that side, that goes right back to my creek. Hope you benefit from this in some way. I don't really know who's 
building these out there, I saw a video of somebody who was using something like this, and I was like, that's perfect. I'm gonna build one of those, and figured I'd share it. Um, thanks for watching the Feral Reserve channel. Stay tuned for more videos on homesteading from the ground up, from raw land. Um, we're gonna be building a house here and planting a garden. Got some of the terraces in yesterday. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Have a good spring. Enjoy yourselves. See you next time. I should probably mention I listed one of these unions and seven of these connectors in the beginning of the video. Um, you'll actually need three unions and 12 of these connectors um, if you want to be able to detach your filter, lift it up, and pour it out. Thank mm -hmm. you.